Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us here on Morning Live. Earlier this week, we celebrated human rights, and today we are focusing on children's rights. Now, every child has rights, for those that don't know. Nearly every government in the world has promised to protect, respect, and fulfill these rights, yet they are still violated. In our country, Section 28 of the Constitution is devoted to outline those rights. These only apply to children under the age of 18. Today we discuss if children are still informed and educated on their rights. We're joined by Human Rights Commissioner Mum Angelina McQuetla, Founder and Managing Director of Evolve Executive Research, Adam Ginster, uh, and that program. Well, he'll talk to us about the program and we'll take a look at children's rights. Mum, let's start with you. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Maybe kind of just give us a brief outline on ch those children's rights within uh, the Constitution. Good morning, and thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about a topic that is very, very important. Children's rights are protected in the Constitution, which is the supreme law of, of South Africa. And I think it's, it is very important that each family, each home should have a copy of the Constitution so that we understand those rights and we just don't keep talking glibly about, about mm. children's rights. Now, as, as you said just now that children's rights are mentioned in the Constitution in Section 28. So it's very, very important because, you see, children have the same general human rights, but then they have specific rights that we are mandated to look after because children belong to the most vulnerable, you know, a, a section in, in the community. So because this constitution is the supreme law of South Africa, it states that the child's best interests are of paramount importance in every matter concerning the child. So whenever we think about children, mm -hmm. we must put their rights right on top and consider them. Now, this section 28 requires that the child should have a name. And I always take notice when I ask a child, what is your name? And they say, for instance, Adam's daughter is Owami. And it's like, wow, you mm. really were looking forward to having this child. So mm. each child has a right to a name and a nationality. They have a right to be protected from maltreatment, from neglect, from abuse or degradation. Now, when mm. I looked up the word degradation yeah. in the dictionary, it says when we make somebody or something less deserving of respect. Now, mm. we as parents have to be very, very important because sometimes you hear parents say, I swell, you know, this ugly child. Mm -hmm. You don't say that to a child. Mm. And that is why yeah. sometimes we bring up adults who have limiting self-beliefs because mm. my mother said I was ugly. My mother sure. said I was stupid. And, and, and that's really where it starts. I, wanna, I, I really want to kind of stay on this level talking about children and edu education and understanding their rights. Mm -hmm. Before we continue with your mom, I just want to bring Adam into this conversation to tell me a little bit more about Evolve Executive Research mm. and the role that you play in protecting children's rights. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Sam. Thank you. Mm. Uh, the company's Evolve Executive Search. We're a headhunting company. Uh, we focus on appointing uh, talented uh, executives, board, executive committee and senior management into South Africa and across Africa. And it was purely by chance, if I can be honest, that one of my team, uh, her parents are pastors in Jabavu in Soweto, and they run an AIDS orphanage, uh, the Akona AIDS Ministry in West Jabavu. We got invited down to a gala event to raise funds. And when I got down there, coming from a farming background, I automatically asked how the children get fed. And the response was, well, it's quite donatory based, it's quite sporadic. And because a lot of the children are faced with uh, the challenges of HIV AIDS, um, it doesn't really help them to combat their, their daily struggles. Um, next to the AIDS orphanage was a very large piece of land and uh, we turned it into a farm. And we now have uh, 11 farms and the company Evolve South Africa is now feeding 4,000 children a week. Wow. Yeah. And in terms of children's rights, it's uh, feeding, it's, it's mm. nutrition, it's diet. And that is such an, a, an important facet, uh, particularly in children that are growing. Mm -hmm. um, they're able to concentrate, they're able to play, mm. uh, particularly you know, when education is so important to, to you know, further mm. themselves. Um, so the, the, the projects that we, that we do, particularly on the feeding programs, really enable the children to, to behave like children. Um, mm. And alongside that, we've now launched a, a dance academy 
Um, because what me and my team do is identify talented individuals when we're working with the children on the farms and in the kitchens and feeding the children, we just recognize how amazingly talented and gifted the children are within performing arts, dancing, So there are singing. many facets to kind of the program that you run. Absolutely. So, okay, we're going to take a bit of an ad break. When we come back, uh, we're going to take a look at a video that was shot by our team, and we'll continue this conversation. And I'm going to start with, with Mom Angelina, and I'm going to ask this very important question. Do children know their rights? We'll take mm -hmm. an ad break. Okay, anyway.